Welcome to Bob's first video on how to use 3D Builder. We're going to do something very simple to start with, and we're going to look at 3D Builder's split command. And we're going to use Tiger Ace's lovely T10 model. Here's the turret to demonstrate how this works. You can get this from Thingiverse. Um, where are we? Down there. It's in the Boneyard, and you're looking, you're looking for the Boneyard, Tiger Race 1945. There's the model. You can download it for free. So that's the one we're going to work on. It's a nice model. Looks just like a T10. Exactly what we need. Now, where were we? So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this one, which is the original file on my right, to look a bit like this one. That is the modified file on my left. Now, why would we want to do that? This is natively in 1 100th scale. That's 15 mil, Flames of War, um, Team Yankee scale. And it's designed to print on an FDM printer. That's good. I don't gain at that scale. I gain in 1 300th. Um, luckily, Tiger Ace's files, because they're designed for FDM at 1 100th, print lovely at 1 300th on a resin printer. Brilliant. The main issue is, of course, they're not designed for 1 300th. So there are a few issues. Firstly, and the thing we're going to look at today is this gun barrel is going to be way too flimsy. OK, it's going to be less than a millimetre thick. And any one of your ham-fisted friends handling your beautiful models will almost inevitably ping it off into the wild blue yonder, which is no good. So we're going to thicken it up. Secondly, if we take a little look here, these lumpy bumpy bits on the top on most 1 300th models tend to be a lot more exaggerated so they show up at a distance. Uh, and we're not going to do that in this tutorial because it will take just that wee bit too long. But again, you can use the split command, take the tops off, make them bigger. So what we're going to do. Well, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to thicken up this gun barrel to make it more sturdy, and we're going to thicken up the machine gun to make it more sturdy. And eventually, it will look like this. So what we're going to do, we're going to maximise this so we can see it properly. And let's get started. We're basically using the split command. Now, the split command is dead simple. Um, if I insert a cube, and I want to split that cube in half, um, where do we go? Edit. Make sure it's selected. It's got the blue outlines, got the arrows, so it's definitely selected, and we split it. We've got a choice. We can keep the top, we can get the bottom, or we can keep both bits. Lovely. Now, if we keep both bits, we end up with two half cubes. Look at that. Awesome. Let's put it back together again. Control Z for undo. Um, if we split it, you will notice that we can rotate the plane that we split at if we want to, so we can have it at an angle. Control Z in this case just refers to the splitting. It doesn't, it doesn't control Z beyond that. Um, or we can move things up and down. Yeah, we can move this plane up and down. We can do it by typing numbers here. You'll notice that to go up is a minus. This is really confusing. It's one of 3D Builder's little foibiles. Yeah, minus goes up. Positive numbers go down. Go figure. Um, but you can decide where you want the cut plane, either by typing or dragging it around up and down. OK. So, I don't know, let's drag it to the end. That there is saying that it's minus 20 millimetres from the middle because this is a 40 by 40 cube okay so if you want to cut five millimeters off the end best trick move it to the top and you'll notice it's rounded uh, 3d builder is accurate to a couple of decimal places but no further and if you want to take five millimeters at the top we'll ignore the decimal places 20 minus 5 is 15 and it absolutely helps if you press enter properly at the end. Let's try that again, there we go. And we can keep both, split that bit at the top is now five millimeters. Easy peasy, nothing 
in 3D Builder is hard. Okay, it's all very straightforward. It's one of the reasons I use it. Right, let's get rid of that and go back to the gun turret, shall we? So this is the T10M's gun turret. Nice, big, fat 122mm gun on the front. Uh, it's just not big and fat enough. So what are we going to do? Well, first issue is it's got a sort of rounded mantle. And as we're going to make it thicker, we're going to chop it off. We can't chop it into the mantle, otherwise the mantle won't line up. So we're going to have to chop it in front of the mantle. Which means this little bit here isn't going to get bigger. So we need a way of getting around that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop as close to the mantle as I can. And then I'm going to chop here. And once I've made everything bigger, I'm going to pull this bit into the mantle. You'll see. It'll make sense. Um, we are not going to fiddle with the uh, infrared searchlight. That's staying the same size. Should look all right. OK, we are certainly going to sort this machine gun out because that is going to be well flimsy. All right, so let's do some splitting. Uh, let's get that nicely centered up. All right, so you need to click on the object. Yeah, the reason we need to do splitting is because all objects come as STLs and they do not break into their component parts. You have to slice them. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, what are we going to do? So we are going to split. OK, by default, splits it straight down the middle horizontally um, for reasons best known to the design of this turret is rotated on its side. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to click there because that gives us a rotation in the plane that we want, which is pitch. And we want 90 degrees. There we go. And I'm just going to grab hold of the plane here and move it till it's pretty much on the join between the cut like that now one little foibile another little foibile a 3d builder is if you get it right edge on which is what you want for aligning it you can't actually grab hold of the thing so either you've got to tilt it around a titty bit or you're gonna have to sort of nudge this number up and down a bit uh that looks close enough for me and it's not going to matter the way i'm going to do it anyway so there we go once you've got it in the right place uh, make sure you haven't got just keep top or you'll lose the end of the gun barrel or keep bottom, then you'll lose turret. So you want to keep both in this case because we need both bits. And you're going to split. Done. Easy. The next thing I need to do is split the remainder there off the turret and it's going to split some other bits. The machine gun we want split off, which is great. Uh, the infrared searchlight we do not want split off, but that's fine. It just basically divides it into two parts. Still be there. So let's do that. So we're going to edit split again. We're going to pitch this at 90 degrees. And we're going to pull ever so carefully over to here. Now, again, we're going to just twiddle it around. Right, that's probably. There's a little trick. If you just keep the bottom like that, you can see the bits to pointing out. If you move, you move this across, you can move it until the mantle disappears. Yep, so just gently move it until the mantle disappears. That's got it about as close as you're going to get. So we need to remember to press keep both, otherwise embarrassingly the turret disappears. And then we're going to click split. OK, awesome. Right. It's all very good. So we've now got this bit here, which is joined to the machine gun and that. What we need to do... Let's move that open like that. That's all pretty good. Um, we need to ungroup that because at the moment it's treating it as a group because it was part of the same object. So we're going to ungroup it. And that means we can now select that nice cone bit at the base of the barrel separately. OK, easy. Now, I want to start by manipulating the barrel together. So I'm going to, what I did there is I clicked on the first bit, hold the shift key down, clicked on the second bit to do a multiple select. And just to keep them going, I'm going to temporarily group them. OK, so how big is our barrel at the moment? Right. This symbol down here is for the dimensions of the object you've selected. So it's 37 and a little bit millimetres long, 3.5 uh, across and nearly 3.5 above. So it's not actually perfectly circular. And you can see that because you can see the facets on it as it goes round. So it's actually not a circle. It's a large number of sides polygon. 
doesn't matter. It's close enough for us. So this down here is the um, constraint. If I've got the padlock locked, when I change something, the whole thing changes. So if I change that to four, for example, it gets longer. We don't want the longer barrel, we just want it thicker. So that's no good. So we need to make sure the constraints are off. Undo the padlock. So I reckon if we make this, well, let's try four and see what it see what it looks like. Notice it's only done the height, so it's still the width. You reckon we might get away with one little bigger than that and take it up to five. Let's have a look. four and a half, maybe. Let's have a little look. Now there's no right or wrong way with this. It's going to be delicate because it's 300th the matter how big you make it so it's really down to a trade-off between delicacy and look and how much you like a big fat tree trunk sticking out the front of your turret um let's go with that for a minute so we'll make the width match it like so and there we go right now because we cut there it now got this this bit here is now too small so what we're going to do i'm going to ungroup that and we're going to manually grab hold of this handle make sure you've got the um dimensions still up and we're just going to pull it till it disappears into the mantle so that's covered up the bit that was too small and now we've got a big fat gun uh, is that a bit big we could experiment change that down to four change the uh to four mm, except yeah that's probably a bit better okay so we've made the gun barrel bigger straightforward let's have a look at the machine gun now you'll notice up here that the ungroup is not active and that's because this bit here is still attached very tenuously i'm sure but still attached to the to the night side so we need to fix that so we need to slice across here so that bit is going to be separate from that bit. Let me show you and make a bit more sense. So if we go uh, split, we pitch it at 90 degrees like that. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the bottom. That way I can see which bits are sticking out. Now, as I move this down, if we go carefully, can you see the arms above the uh, infrared night sight are creeping towards the base of the machine gun. If we go far enough, they eventually touch. So what we need to do is just nudge it till we can see some nice green space between the two, like that. Awesome. Now that is now separate from that. We can split it. Ah, now look what I did wrong. I removed the part. That's no good. So Control Z. Let's repeat that. Pitch it ninety. Uh, take it back. Now there's a gap there, keep both. Oh yeah, that helps. Split. There we go. And you might, right, you need to ungroup that first. So that's now a separate part and you might just want to, so say you've accidentally moving them, select all the bits we're not playing with. So the front of the infrared, that little slice and the turret, that was click and then shift click on the parts and group them together. Okay. So now we're going to work on the machine gun. And again, we're going to end up with a bit here that's too small. So we're going to do exactly the same as we did on the big gun. And we're going to separate this part here from the main gun barrel. So edit, split, like that, pitch, 90. We are going to slide that till it meets that part there nice and carefully. We're going to make sure we've got keep both and we're going to split them. There we go. OK, how big do we want to make this? Well, that part is claiming to be a millimetre, it will take. Um, so this bit here would look to be about three quarters of a millimetre. That's very thin. Uh, we want that part to be at least a millimetre, I would say, and possibly bigger. So why don't we try making that too? That seems like a plan. Make sure the constraint is off because we don't want the machine gun getting longer. We just want it to get wider and taller. Two. Except mm, that's quite big. Uh, what did I forget? I forgot to select this bit as well, didn't I? So I need to undo that. I need to shift click on it 
we'll group them so I don't forget it again. And we'll go back and try two, except it looks a bit ugly, but that part is probably only just bigger than a millimeter. So we'll probably have to live with it. We're going to ungroup. We're going to take this part, the, uh, what is it? Half a sphere. And we're going to pull it back into the mantle in exactly the same way as we did. Ah, slight problem there, isn't there? Ah, I haven't made it wide enough, have I yet? Okay, so we pull it back into the mantle. Yeah, we ought to make that bit too. Ah, disappears. Awesome. Right, there we go. Now, I don't know about you, but that looks horrible. It probably won't when it prints, to be honest. It'd be so small, you'll barely notice it. But it's offending my sense of aesthetics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it off and then drag this out to compensate for the extra space. So it's, what, 1.82 at the moment. We're going to split it. Like so. I'm going to drag it to there. Again, if you keep the top, you can see whether we've got any part of that larger disc or not. So we'll move it down till we lose it. Ooh, about. Yeah. Come on, there. Right, that sounds good. We only want the bottom this time, so that's fine. We're going to split it. And it was 1.82. It's now. 1.28, so what we'll do, ooh. Uh, you've done the wrong measurement, haven't you? You've done the wrong measurement. Let's control Z and tick it out to get that thing. It was 2.52, control Y is redo. So we'll just move that across to 2.52. 2.5 will do, uh, okie dokie, there you go. So we've now made the gun barrel thicker. We've made the machine gun thicker. We've merged everything into here and we've left the infrared no, infrared sight alone. Um, now, that is still going to be way flimsy. So the last thing I might do is I might make a little fillet. That's a sort of, well, it's just a way of joining the two things together um, to give it some support off the gun barrel. So we'll insert a cube. We'll put the constraint on so it resizes all, th all three dimensions at the same time and we'll make it not. 0.5 to start with. Oh, that's Diddy. Um, we need it to line up with this, so we will use this one here to see how far across it is, which is 7.1. 7.1 exactly, amazing. <clears throat> Go to there, 7.1. We now know that's in the middle there. Then we'll manually pull this up and pull it across till it reappears. There you go. Zoom in. If you want to center the view and have it rotate around this object, which we do because we're working on it, a quick a double click on it will do that. And now, as you can see, it rotates around the cube, which is nice. I'm going to pull that bit sort of to the end there. We're going to grab hold of this. We're going to remove the constraint because we don't want it getting wider while we manipulate it. Pull it down to there. And pull it into there. You can see it zips across this diagonal and eventually you're in. I think we're okay here. Yep, there you go. Is that as good as it gets? Oh no, I'm going far enough there. There you go. Right, so now you've got a little support. It's half a mil in this, which remember, this is a one one hundredth file and we're going to print at one three hundredth. So that's oh, 0.15 millimeters. It's a bit small. Um, it'll print, but maybe we'll make it just a little bit wider. Let's see if, see if a mil works. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? You're gonna get you're not got much, not got much dimension here, so we may have to compromise. And uh, what can we do? What we could do is we could hit this and rotate it a little bit like that, and then move it across like that. So most of it's hidden underneath. Pull it out. It's going to stick out to the bottom a bit, so we'll just nudge it up and across like so. Maybe make it a little bit nudge until it disappears in. So you can't see it anymore. There you go. And now you can see that you now you've got some gun barrel protruding. Very good. So there's the one we've just done. Um, here's the one we did earlier. Zoom in a bit. They should look pretty much identical. 
Now that took a lot longer to talk about than it does actually to do. Um, it's a bit fiddly because you have to do the base of the barrel and the main barrel separately. And you've got these gubbins on the front here, which means you need to be careful what you're cutting off. But it's pretty straightforward. 3D Builder is dead easy. Um, and there you go. You've got a model now that will print on a resin printer and not be too delicate. So that was my first video. Thank you very much for watching. If you got this far and weren't bored by my voice, um, if I get a good reaction, I may do another one.